Thank you for clicking on the video. Uh, today, I am going to talk about my opinion on whether or not a Blu-ray is really any better here in my home theater than watching a DVD. So stay tuned. I think in the world of home theater, movie collecting, and definitely out in kind of the general public, um, most people, I think, would say a Blu-ray is going to be better than a DVD. And a 4K is even better than both of them because they're higher quality, higher resolution, more data space, so you can have bigger audio and video files on there. And while all that may be the case for the technical specs, uh, what I think is, at least here in my home theater, whether or not it's a Blu-ray or whether or not it's a DVD, you can still get a really good experience and have some really good quality audio and video, regardless of the format you're playing. And I'm using these Alien ones just as a representation as an example. Uh, I'm not critiquing necessarily the movies themselves, but it's one of the only movies that I own on both Blu-ray and DVD, so I can hold them up here. I don't think here in my home theater it matters too much on whether or not you're watching a Blu-ray, a 4K, or a DVD. I have a bl completely blacked out room. There's no windows. I'm in a basement. Everything is painted dark gray or black because uh, my screen is on a completely painted black wall. Um, yes, my ceiling should probably be dark gray or black, but you know, I have the section around my screen painted black and then have uh, acoustic, you know, treatment up there. So my environment is conducive to, you know, that bat cave style of room to watch a movie in and i really feel that that helps you know if you're watching in that versus watching in just like a daylit living room is gonna change the quality a little bit uh but beyond that i really think it comes down to the equipment you're using and then a little bit how the actual disc was encoded regardless of if it's a blu-ray or DVD or a 4K. But I think primarily for me, at least here in my home theater, it's the equipment. So I have a high quality uh, DVD and Blu-ray and 4K player. I've got my Panasonic UB420, uh, which is one of the best Blu-ray and 4K players you can, you can use, especially if you're not using a 4K projector or TV, because the tone mapping in the upscaling or downscaling, I should say, is really good on those Panasonic UB 420s and like 820s and then like the 9000, the super high end version. So I have that. I also have my Toshiba uh, HD DVD player which is really good at upscaling DVDs. And I also have a Sony, just like standard Blu-ray player that I actually swapped out uh, with my Oppo that I had back several months ago when I did my home theater tours, because uh, it started to act up coincidentally as soon as I made the video, talking about how I never had any issues with it, then it started having issues. Uh, so I ended up getting rid of it and I'm just buying just a cheap Sony Blu-ray player off of the internet. I have really good components. This Knoll Systems projector is a super high quality projector. Granted, it's whatever, like 10 to 15 years old now at this point, but that was a $15,000 projector. It was super high end, top of the line when it came out. And so I can watch a Blu-ray or I can watch a DVD and still get really good quality on the screen to the point where granted if you're really looking for it and have a really keen eye you can tell when it's a dvd versus a blu-ray or a 4k disc but for like my wife or uh, her sisters or my family if they were to watch something down here in my home theater and i put a dvd on they would not know the difference
because it looks so similar in quality. And I think that's down to the equipment and the environment that I'm in. Uh, now, like I was saying, I think the encoding on a movie also plays a, a role, a factor, because there's Blu-rays that are horribly mastered and encoded, and there's Blu-rays that are really well encoded and really well mastered on the disc. Same goes for DVDs. There's some really poor transfer and encoding on some DVDs out there. And then there's some other ones that are actually done really well. And even though the DVD doesn't have the storage space of a Blu-ray or a 4K disc, if the encoding's done really well, at least for the actual film, maybe not for like special features, but the film itself is gonna look pretty good on it. Like I said, and this is all relative, this is how I perceive it here in my home theater. And that also leads into why I don't have a whole lot of 4Ks. And actually my 4K collection has grown uh, quite a bit in the last couple weeks or month because of finding all the $5 steel books at Walmart. So I've bought like 10 of those in the last month, which is typically something I don't do, but they're in the clearance bin for $5 for a steel book uh, with the 4K and the Blu-ray in it. And so you can't really beat that. And so I've bought a bunch of those, even though some of them I'm going to sell off after I watch the movie, some of them I'm going to keep. But Prior to that, I've only had maybe, I'm looking at my shelf right now behind the camera, not even 10 4K discs prior to that. And it's because of this reason, I'm not using a 4K projector, so I don't really need the 4K. But I also feel like, as I said just a little bit ago, a Blu-ray or even a standard DVD is going to look really good down here in my home theater. And so I don't need a 4K to get... A quality experience here uh, and you know I've talked about this in some of my other videos newer releases especially of catalog titles get altered in a bunch of different ways the video gets altered in terms of color grading or aspect ratios uh, you know they change the actual film itself they edit things out of it or the director or whoever wants to edit it because they want to change something like George Lucas with all the Star Wars films, adding stuff in there that wasn't in the original theatrical version. Under most circumstances, I mean, like these alien movies, I enjoy the theatrical versions of them. I also enjoy the director's cuts or the special editions of them, too. You know, so it's, you know, I enjoy both sides of that. But if it's a movie where I really want to see the theatrical version, not only do I want the picture to be as theatrically accurate as you can get in the home video market. I want the audio like that too. And a lot of catalog titles, you know, like, uh, I mean, Saving Private Ryan, for example, I've seen the Blu-ray and like the modern 4K and stuff that they upmixed it to Atmos. Or like most recently with the Aliens release or True Lies and some of those that James Cameron have, has just done or Titanic. Up mixing these movies into Atmos when when they were originally released they didn't have anything like that and so it changes the audio mix you know and changes the original theatrical presentation and original you know artistic integrity of the films and I'm a big proponent of trying to find the original theatrical stuff as closely as you can get and Usually that's not going to be on a Blu-ray. Occasionally it is, depending on what label. If it's like a boutique label, sometimes that's on there. Occasionally it's on a 4K if the Blu-ray had it that they poured it over. Uh, but a lot of times it's on a DVD that you're going to find that. And you're not going to see it on more modern releases because it's been changed to, you know, uh, DTS 7.1 or Adobe Atmos or DTS X or something, you know, so I enjoy having that too. And that's another reason why I enjoy having DVDs, you know, here in my home theater and why I don't fuss too much about buying a Blu-ray or buying a 4K. Now, that's not to say I don't want Blu-rays or 4Ks at all, because that isn't the case. I, I do a lot of research into purchases if I'm going to buy something uh, like this. And I'll try and look through, you know, 
uh, you know, various websites and different outlets to try and see, okay, what's the mastering like on a Blu-ray or on a 4K disc? Does it have the original audio? Is it upmixed? Have they done a bunch of DNR, altered the video in any way, whatever? And you can find certain movies that they took basically the original film, the negative and audio track, and just cleaned it up and re-put it on a Blu-ray or on a 4K. And in that case, yeah, sure, I'll get the one that's higher quality. But if it's been altered a whole bunch, like for the audio or the picture or whatever content has been altered, uh, then I'm going to stick with the Blu-ray or I'm going to stick with the DVD. And at least in my home theater, the quality on the screen and through the surround sound is still great. And I can still enjoy it and still have a good time. And people who really aren't looking for it won't even realize that it's not the highest quality available. Anyways, uh, like I always say, I want to give a shout out. Thanks to everybody who's watched my content and, you know, liked and subscribed to my channel. I really do appreciate it. Uh, Every day I see, you know, different comments and different things on the channel. And it, you know, like like I've said in my other videos, is humbling and really kind of crazy to me, you know, that <laughs> as many people have uh, subscribed as they have to my channel and everything. I, I really didn't think I'd ever get to that point. I was just doing this as a hobby. So uh, I just want to say thanks to everybody and uh, be on the lookout for more content that's in the works. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.